Here's your word for the day from Calvary in Lake Havasu. Visit us on the web at calvaryaz.com. Good morning, Calvary. Thanks for tuning in for your word for the day today. Grateful to have you tune in wherever you're watching from. Uh, we're grateful to have you here as always as we continue our look for word for the day. You know, I don't know if you've ever been in a moment where you had a song that seemed to express your thoughts and emotions and uh, feelings in that moment far better than you ever could. I know that in certain points in my life, there's been songs that uh, just really resonate and, and almost in a way help me articulate and communicate my thoughts better than I thought that I could to start with. Uh, and I think there's a reason for that. Music is is not just words; it's it's emotions. You know, the the the, the instruments and the the things that come into that, the songwriting, the cadence, the the even the key that is selected, all help articulate feelings, emotions, thoughts, expressions. And so, for for that reason, I think it's very intentional that. Basically, since the existence of people gathering to worship the Lord, music has been a component of that. It's a way that we can express our celebration. It's a way that we can express our longings, our grief, our sadness, our desires. Music helps us express what sometimes we can't articulate with words alone. And so it's no surprise as we've been going through now 96 chapters of the book of Psalms, we see these instructions and invitations to worship God through music. And we see that in uh, today's Psalm, which is uh, Psalm 96. It starts this way. It says, O oh, sing to the Lord a new song. Sing to the Lord all the earth. Sing to the Lord, bless his name. Tell of his salvation day to day. Declare his glory among the nations, his marvelous works among the peoples. For great is the Lord and greatly to be praised. He's to be feared above all gods, for all the gods of the peoples are worthless idols. But the Lord made the heavens. Splendor and majesty are before him. Strength and beauty are his sanctuary. The psalmist goes on just to continue to articulate all the ways that God has dominion and power and lordship over all the creation. At one point, even encourages the trees and the, the fields to sing and worship to the Lord. But I want to go back to how this opens. Sing to the Lord a new song. Sing and bless his name. Tell of his salvation. For great is the Lord and greatly to be praised. See, we sing, and the reason all of our worship services include music. Now, this is, again, something that's been a part of Christian worship for thousands of years. The instruments like look different. We don't use harps and lyres uh, anymore. Some of you uh, are sad about that. Some of you celebrate that we don't uh, use harps in our worship services. The songs look different, but the focus is always the same. Proclaiming the, the excellent majesty of God. Uh, reflecting on his good, goodness, reflecting on the fact that he is Lord over everything and blesses and loves us abundantly. So let me encourage you to do what this is doing, to sing in worship to God. Uh, pull up a Spotify playlist today. Uh, you may have the day off. You may be reflecting on some difficulties. You may be reflecting on maybe even some people that you've lost. Um, but I encourage you to worship God even in difficulties, in good days and in bad, worship God because great is the Lord and greatly to be praised is the God of all heavens. Uh, so take some time to worship him and we invite you to, to worship with us this weekend uh, as we start and end and participate in worship all throughout every single worship service that we do here because God is desiring and worthy of our worship. Hope that you have a great day, Calvary. We'll see you next time.